Today I'm going to paint for you some majestic pyramids. I, I paint a lot of pyramids. They look they look really cool. Yeah, and uh, I get a, I get several requests each time I'm at an event. I'll usually do them on a high gloss poster board, and the techniques that I use are the spray paint techniques with. Uh, applying spray paint and then using different material to to create patterns and textures. Uh, as you can see here, I'm using a, I was using a piece of paper from a phone book, and that creates some textures. And and then in a little while you'll see I have some plastic paper that is used. I then uh, apply uh, some high gloss. Uh, some of the high gloss spray which keeps the paint wet and I'll use my fingers to create some other patterns and some other techniques. This is on a panel board and it has a high gloss surface which you can then create some really cool textures as you can see there. I use the same kind of color pattern on, on this particular painting. I'm using the same color pattern that for the planet, uh, the same for the pyramids. Now pyramids are actually pretty fascinating. They are an instant mystery. When you look at the pyramids, you automatically know that you, you don't know or, and probably will never know how they were created or who created them, uh, aside from what history, what current history tells us. So when people look at them, they get they get mesmerized. There's a lot of mystery that goes into it, and everybody has their own theories. So that's why I, I paint these. They are an instant mystery. There's always a lot of requests, and they ask me what am I what do I think when when I'm painting them or what what's my take on them and they look really interesting they're they're simple geometric patterns it's as you can see in this painting it's a circle and three triangles but the way it's put together and and with all the techniques and the elements that that go in it makes it a very interesting looking image and i use a simple stencils that's a pizza pie holder and some cut up paper there. Mm, there's some there's some really cool there's some really cool uh, colors in there. Sometimes I'll use different medium. I'll use acrylic or uh, I'll just use ink to create things. This one is all, all spray paint. And here's the using of uh, plastic plastic bags. These plastic bags, they, they end up making these really cool patterns, marbleized kind of patterns. Uh, you can't tell if it looks like it's underwater or if it looks like it's uh, an outer space. Uh, whenever you see a spray paint artist, Take some time to go and watch him create something and, and look at his work. Photos and video do not do the paintings justice. You have to see them in real life. So many details, so many patterns, so many really cool little bitty, little bitty works of art that are going on. Each one is unique. As you can start to see the piece coming together now and putting in the uh, shadows underneath. Sometimes I've done just one pyramid with uh, three planets. At the bottom, I'm just gonna put a grid wire Something like you see on Tron. Yeah, when people tell me they can't even draw a straight line, I'm telling you right now, those are not straight lines. 
but they still came out really neat, I think. Yeah, those are some really, really cool colors, really bright colors. They start to liven things up. Yeah. Yeah, that came out really good. I thought this painting came out really neat. Here's a quick video of it. But then I, I took a picture and uh, took some of the glare out. And I'm going to show you a photo image of it. And then it's gonna, it's going to um, start to stand out. Some of the the planet there really stands out. The patterns in there look really neat. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and share. You can do a hashtag search, hashtag Dominic Olivadis. You can also go and uh, check out Art of Dominic Olivadis. I'm gonna go do another painting right now. Something wicked, something trippy. So I'll uh, see you all soon. Yeah.